November is Child Safety and Protection Month. During this month, many try to raise awareness for a multitude of dangers which children face. One of these threats is choking, a device which is trying to keep children, but more people generally safe from choking is a life vac. Life vac is a device which works to clear the airway and is invented by Arthur Lee. Arthur Lee began his work in business where he found great success. From there, he spent some time pursuing woodworking and building until he heard of the story of a young child who died after choking on a grate. As a result, he created a device which could prevent choking tragedies. Joining me today in Inbox to discuss the device is Arthur. Thanks for coming in. To begin, can you expand on the moment that inspired you to create LifeVac? Well, I was uh, visiting my friend in the hospital. His mom was having a procedure. I was just hanging out with him, and he pointed at a gurney, one of those steel gurneys, and he explained that the last time he was there, a seven-year-old was on that gurney that had choked to death. My daughter was seven at the time. Um, I had an accident when I was younger and uh, lost my friend right in front of me, and all that pain and, and uh, fear came up, and I couldn't understand why a child would choke to death you know we have procedures and protocols and went on to find out that those don't always work and uh, I did something to try and be able to save my daughter at first. How does life back compare with other first aid techniques namely the Heimlich maneuver? Well we we encourage a, a, a full approach to stopping choking tragedies you know with 5,000 deaths a year it's a very common tragedy and it's awareness training and life back. So we encourage people to get trained in abdominal thrust, back blows, and uh, chest compressions. But the sad fact is they don't always work. So the next phase is a life back, which is non-invasive, super simple little plunger. You push it, you pull it, and it removes the objects and saves your loved one's life. Can you tell us more about the device itself? Yeah, uh, it's. I, I should have had one. It, it's. Uh, it's just a little plunger and basically you push it down just like a sink plunger and there's a mask that goes over the face you pull it and it creates a suction and pulls the object out there's a valve and when you push it down the air vents outside the body and then when that ball valve locks it creates a suction and removes the object it's super simple uh, i designed it to be relatively panic proof because as a parent i knew i'd be scared um, it's non-invasive. It doesn't. Nothing goes in the body. There's no tube to push anything in. So we, we just saved our 100th child uh, yesterday, and it, it just shows what the tragedies that can be avoided if we're properly prepared and and are trained and have a life back. Why is this device needed, particularly for children? Well, sadly. Um, Choking is the fourth leading cause of accidental death. It's one of the leading causes of death in children. Uh, they have small windpipes, just a little tiny windpipe, and they tend to pick things up, put them in their mouth, uh, they're very susceptible to choking. Little tiny lungs, so the, the back compressions may not work. So it, it's just a common, sadly, a common uh, cause of death in children that we're trying to stop. And 100 children saved, uh, we're getting there. But people like you help, and we're so grateful for that. Now that you're mentioning that there's 100 children saved, can you share some of these success stories? You know, I've been blessed to meet a bunch of them, and it's, it's definitely some of the uh, greatest moments of my life. Uh, the first child I met, was his name was Killian. He was uh, choking on carrots just before his first birthday. And I got to hold him in my arms and, and look in his face and look over at the grandparents and the parents and and see the relief and gratitude um, losing a child just devastation for the the family the community and uh, you can't really explain the gratitude for that moment but it really keeps us going uh, to stop it from ever happening now what kind of reactions are you typically getting from people well we, we you know we've been going at it for 10 years now and thank you to people like yourself that finally get the word out. We're really seeing some momentum. Um, the appreciation of the parents uh, is is incredible. Uh, I, it's hard to describe, you know, the gratitude that they express to us, 
And uh, we express it right back because when they share those stories, we save more children. And, you know, guys like people like you and get the word out, we can save them all. So how do you envision Life Fact technology, how it's going to grow in the future? What is the future for this device? Well, you know, the, the primary goal at the moment is homes, parents being able to save either their children or their elders. Uh, we have mission of school and special needs. Um, people in a wheelchair may have no option without a life back, and that's unacceptable. Uh, special needs with certain neurological conditions choke more. So you got your families, your schools, and special needs education. And then eventually, like to see restaurants, fire departments. I mean, we have them all. Police officers have saved lives. EMS have saved lives. Um, we can eliminate 5,000 tragedies a year if we, we just got to keep going and be blessed that people like you help get the word out. So for our viewers at home, how can they find out more about this device? If in Canada, you go to lifeback.ca. Uh, in the U.S., it's lifeback.net. Um, there's information. There's uh, Actually, you can view. We just had a life saved at a restaurant in South Carolina. You you can see the footage. A gentleman races to his car, grabs a life back, saves a baby. Once again, just before one-year birthday. Um, it's incredible footage. I, I encourage people to watch it, and you can see how a horrible tragedy turned into a community celebrating the one-year birthday of that child. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, Arthur. We really appreciate it, and we've loved to hear all about your product. I am so grateful. I appreciate you and everybody. The more we get out there, the more lives we save. Thank you so much. And thank you to our viewers at home for tuning in. This has been Julia Cosby, and you're watching Inbox. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest content.